When it comes to sprinting, De Koenig Quickstep have enjoyed just as much success over the years as they have in the classics. Some of the sport's fastest finishers have donned the Belgian team's jersey over the past decade, and Ilio Keza has worked with them all. Of course, we have many, many good sprinters through the years, starting, of course, with, with Bonin, but then there were so many, so many others. We had, of course, uh, Cavendish. I did uh, Tour of Italy with him, where he won five stages, and Point's jersey was fantastic memories. Then, of course, there was uh, Kittel came in the team, Gaviria. After that, we have Bennett now, we have Jakobsen. We've always been a team with, with a lot of sprinters and um, hunting for a lot, of, a lot of victories and always been very successful with them. Bono was the man of the power. Uh, he didn't start it, uh, especially as a, as a sprinter, but he was a great. Mark was a total different sprinter. Mark was uh, the sprinter uh, who came like a, a cat on the last uh, meters and uh, jumping over everybody. Cavendish comes by him right now. It's Cavendish versus Gosford. Yeah, the are involved. What a finish! Oh. And Cavendish is the leader of the Giro. You didn't have to be too worried if it, if it got wrong. Uh, the lead out goes 60-65% of the time good and the other 45% there is always something there's something that can happen. But with a guy like Kev or, or even Viviani there was no, no big problem if it goes wrong then they find their own way. I think the big difference with, uh, with Kittel was that he, he had a huge amount of power and he, liked, he did like to wait. Even if he was in, in 50th position with, with 400 meters to go, he still wasn't worried too much. So with him, you, you could give him a good lead out, but he really preferred to wait and, and to, to stay on that second line, to look for that gap to go. And when he went, he was, uh, then he was at his fastest. Pure power-wise, I think he was, he was one of the best. Gaviria was a, is, is an exceptional rider. Right? It's indeed not, not obvious to have a, a Colombian as a sprinter, but now we also have Alvaro Odeg, who is a Colombian, and he is uh, getting there to be one of the best sprinters. So, but Gaviria is, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, once he's in, in really top shape, he can uh, he's more than just a sprinter. But uh, of course, he's in that top five, top six of top sprinters of the best sprinters of the world too. Inevitably, though, there comes a time when every star must move on. Well, you do a lot of races a year, eh? so you can divide the sprinters uh, over different races. Yeah, but there is always a point, and then, then you usually talk about the Tour de France. At a certain point, you have two sprinters that are ready to go to the Tour de France, and then, and then, then you have to make the decision. Of course, it's all, it's all related to, to budgets. Uh, if I have to left, leave uh, riders away uh, after me, like Gaviria or uh, Philippe Giberno, it's all due to, to budgets. We don't have, uh, we are not in the top five, six of the biggest budgets in a, in a bunch. It's difficult to fight, but it's for me always a challenge to, even when we change riders, to, to, do, to perform like we did before. However, the team's new number one man needs no introduction. Oh, this is so close, Viviani, Bennett, Fitz Bennett takes the win. Oh, spectacular finale there. Sam Bennett, a hat-trick victory. Yes, it's a nice story because Sam was born uh, 15 kilometers from my house. Uh, his father was a football player in Belgium. He stayed uh, two kilometers from my house. I didn't know it. And uh, I know I, I'm a bookkeeper, but on the other hand, I'm, I'm somebody who believes very much in my instinct. And something said uh, inside of me, uh, take, take Bennett, take Bennett. And uh, I hope he can um, perform uh, as I wish he should perform. He has a characteristic of a pure sprinter. If you see him standing, he has uh, two legs of dynamite. He is, he is really a pure sprinter. 
he has the character, he likes the pressure, um, but he for sure, I think, he proved already last year that he can win, that he can beat almost everybody, um, but he for sure will be, over the next five, six, seven years to come, yeah, one of the best, best sprinters of the world.